Look at you, you run like a gazelle. <laughs> it was not something I recommend to anyone. When the result of a race can come down to one one hundredth of a second, everything about the athlete is put under a microscope. It's not just their physical ability which is tested, but also their mental stamina. In today's challenge, we're experimenting with distraction. This is Science of Supercars. <laughs> basically going to throw a bunch of distractions at the drivers. But before we do that, we need to set the time. So, Jamie, <laughs> we're going to do a hot lap. And I feel really uncomfortable about that. <laughs> Let's Come do it. Yeah, yeah. Talk's cheap. I'm genuinely nervous. I love you, Mum. Put down some laps and then uh, see what happens with a bit of distraction. Dado, can you say something sweet to me? <laughs> say something reassuring. You look good in that suit, mate. OK, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those baby blue eyes, mate. Maybe the last words I hear, I wanted them to be sweet. Oh, I don't, I don't do sweet, mate. Sorry. OK. Knowing Jamie, who won't leave anything on the table, you want to set a good, hard pace. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's going to be in for a bit of a shock. That car's got this great horsepower. It's bit squirmy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He said Danny was pretty good, actually. He said he was having a good time. So 12.97, not, uh, not front row in a supercar race, but no. uh, I'm sure fast enough for Danny. Uh, he looks all right. So how was that? How was oh, it? Oh, dude, that was sick. <laughs> yeah, so we, we meant to give Danny a bit of an experience uh, going around the track, but I think it actually ended up being one of our, our distracted driver's challenges. He was squealing so much. It was unbelievably high pitched. It, uh, I'm surprised Jamie could keep on the track. So we are dealing with distractions here. Yep. What's going to be our first distraction that's going to be worse than me screaming the top <laughs> of my lungs? We've got one that was more embarrassing yep. for the team than that, mate. It was okay. a classic one for us at Bathurst. The screen fogged. We used the wrong product to, as anti-fog. Look, same packet, same everything. On the bottom, the fine print reads, upholstery cleaner. The front windscreen um, fogged up, the sides fogged up, the back fogged up. So literally you're sitting in a car that you can't see out of. The only way that we had a uh, remedy of trying to fix that was a squeegee with a bit of rag. Looked completely ridiculous. Uh, it got banned straight after the event. So you can see back now, Gooey's fogged up the windscreen. So that's going to be a nightmare at Jamie. And we've yep. got the squeegee on the stick. We'll see how he goes. OK, so Jamie is going to be wiping while driving. And go. for him. The noise of the edge doesn't sound like it's uh, anywhere peaking like it did when he did his baseline. There we go. <laughs> He's in oh, wow. 116.81. <laughs> Look at that. Done better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you forgot this. You oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> it, you did a pretty good job. Yeah, looks, looks up, great. Right? Yeah. yeah, but uh, four seconds slower, though. What'd you expect, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're up to our second distraction experiment, and it is run a lap, race a lap, because we're dealing with exhaustion. So what kind of effect does exhaustion have on a lap, on a race? Well, what we're going to do is send him on 3.1K. Oh. It's going to be about 15 minutes of running by the time he gets back here. Yeah. His heart rate's going to be up around ooh, 160, 170. And then he's going to have to get in that car and try and settle that back down as quickly as he can. Sure. So he can get the car back under control. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> Come on, Forrest. You're almost there. Here we go. Put those legs. Look at you, you run like a gazelle. Come on, get him up, get him up, get him up. Go ahead. Oh, he's pretty sweaty. Someone mop his brow. Come on, get him in there. Not bad. 
for a 3.1k. I reckon it's going to be pretty close. He's not too exhausted. He just did a 1 minute 13, so he's right on it. How are you feeling? You're just off 1.13. Oh, yeah, nice. It's so not far off your baseline. Not, not too far off the baseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got me in the zone a bit, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. A little bit of adrenaline. Not like I was in a race, you know? Your yeah, heart yeah. rate was up. Yeah. Plus, I wasn't carrying your fat <laughs> around as well. <laughs> so there's a bit of an advantage there. <laughs> OK, we're up to our final experiment, which is vision impairment. Now, Ooh. I can promise you that this is considerably worse than what you're anticipating. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Really so... <laughs> <laughs> can you actually... see how bad it is? Yeah. <laughs> can you see me? How good is it? Seeing what you're doing, paying attention, is, is critical. to be able to safely and accurately get round a, a track, a road, a shopping centre, whatever it might be. All right, so we're going to chuck you in the supercar and see yep. you do a hot lap. OK. If you can get to the car. So the car's no that way. way. <laughs> yep, it's, it's real right bad. Keep, keep walking. This looks a little bit dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no chance. No? Absolutely no chance. Okay. We'll grab the road car. Yeah. <laughs> right. Road car. Sweet. Let's do it. Whoa. Safety first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got to no, make sure we keep safe. <laughs> Mate, I can't see a thing. <laughs> I'm just going to try to get out of pit lane, but I've yeah. got no idea where the hell pit lane is. I'm a little bit nervous, because I feel like he'll get he angry at me if he crashes his car. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Nice and steady, yeah? Nice. OK. Oh, yeah. You're a little yeah. bit close to this, my side. Just a touch. Just a touch. There we go. <laughs> Punch it, mate. Punch it. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this is fine. We all should have a go on oh, this. You got... No, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Two minute 07.66. Oh, I'm out. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. That was just silly. But, like, to his credit, I mean, he did pretty well. Yeah, so the vision impairment goggles, we've all heard about them before and they're called all sorts of names, but I'd never actually put a pair on it and it, it was making you physically ill. The second you put them on, you could barely see, you could barely walk. That's probably the craziest thing that we did all day, I think. Had a headache for about six hours afterwards. Um, no, it was, it was not something I recommend to anyone. All right, so what are the results? Well, your baseline without the goggles is a one minute 30. Yeah. With the goggles, a 2.07. 37 Ooh. second deficit. Yeah. And that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, I'll it's, take it's that. Yeah. For how bad those how goggles shot, are. How shocking. Yeah, yeah. 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 unbelievable. Really, really, you wearing the goggles did a faster lap than I could have done without them. <laughs> so I'd say that no matter what the distractions are thrown at you guys, you can still handle it. I think it's myth busted. Yeah. Yep. Myth busted. Distractions, well, slow you down. This experiment was intended to show how catastrophic visual impairment can have terrible effects on a driver, yet it became a testament to how Jamie's skill and experience can overcome even the worst distraction. I don't think anyone thought he'd make it out of the pit, let alone perform as well as he did on the track.